everybody, this is Dave Priscilli with Holistic Health of Fitness and Holistic Health Vibrant Life, the podcasts. Are you still choosing to be affected by circumstances? So when I talk about circumstances, we're also still talking about what we'll call conditions. So conditions and circumstances, the same thing. A lot of times when we think about circumstances, we think of them being negative. But in our discussion, circumstances of your life experience, the things that happen and occur in your life experience are just circumstances. They're conditions also. Conditions, thoughts are conditions. So the thoughts you have are conditions. Feelings, the feelings you have are conditions. The actions that you take are conditions. And that which you experience in your life experience are conditions. So all of that together, conditions and circumstances. So again, the question is, is are you still choosing, there's the big word, choosing to be affected by the conditions of your life experience? So we can get very much more specific, which will probably hit home. Are you still choosing to be affected by your thoughts? Because that's the big one. How you think or how you perceive things in your life, these are your thoughts based on your beliefs, etc., is expressed in your life experience. If you're having challenges in your life, especially we'll call mental emotional aspects of your life, it is because you are taking things personally. We've talked about this before. You're believing yourself to be a person when in fact your consciousness or beingness, Christ consciousness, Buddha mind, whatever again you choose to believe that to be, spirit, soul, that is what you are. However, if you as soul, beingness, consciousness, choose to identify as a person or a personality, you can't, you can't, um, how do I say this? It's really hard to be a person without being a personality. <laughs> you just, truly, really, you can't be a person without having a personality to go along with it, right? However, you are not a person you are consciousness, beingness, spirit, moving through the instrument of mind and body to experience and express. I know that can be hard to grasp for some folks, but if you stay tuned, you'll start grabbing onto this stuff. The idea is, again, everything that you and I are always talking about, although it may not seem that way on the surface, is about creating optimum health and fitness and well-being. However, what we really want to do is take those three words or labels or ideas, concepts, and actually understand that it's actually the, we need to reverse those and say what we are always talking about is creating optimum well-being, the wellness of being or beingness. And through that, so that's spirit, and then through that, creating health within the mind and body. So spirit, wellness, well-being, health through the mind, and then body, it manifests that health, that wellness, the well-being, the wellness of your being, and the health of your mind manifests in the physical aspects of your body and in your life experience. So again, it's a hierarchy of spirit, mind, and body, not mind, body, and spirit, or not body, mind, and spirit. Spirit, mind, and body. That is who you are. You are spirit, and you are, as instruments of expression, the mind and body. You are flowing through a mind and body, instruments of expression. What, if, what is it expressing? You as beingness, you as spirit. If you are still choosing to be affected by the conditions of your life experience, 
if you are still choosing to be affected by your thoughts and perceptions and your beliefs and the concepts of how you think life should be, that is going to create frustration, pain, emotional pain and suffering, etc. in your life. And there is no need to do that. There truly is no need for that. The idea is, is that no matter what happens in your life experience, those are just conditional. But they have no power unto themselves unless you as consciousness or beingness, spirit, flow to them and give them that life because you are life itself. So again, if you want to experience true, optimum, incredible health and fitness and yes, well-being and abundance and joy and love, if you want a strong, healthy body full of vibrancy and vitality and virility and youthfulness, then let go of the need to be and live in a personality that needs to hold on to conditions to know itself, to continually experience it as an existence. Because you are not a personality. You are not a set of beliefs unless you believe yourself to be only that. I would ask you to ask yourself, who am I? Who do I believe myself to be? And then what you're going to do is you're basically going to come up with a list of thoughts that you have and beliefs that you have and concepts that you believe in. And you're going to say, this is, I am this body and I am uh, this person who does this for a living and this is my family life and this is how much money I make. It's not who you are. It's just the personality, but you are greater, you are more, you are beyond that, and you are before that. So again, if you go to iTunes, or I should say go to iTunes, and you can listen to the podcasts, and you can listen to this podcast specifically if you want to know more about what we're talking about, and you can find that on iTunes under Holistic Health, Holistic Health, Vibrant Life. And then you'll have all the other podcasts that you can listen to, too. Rate, review, and remark for us. And if you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one or send me a question, then go to the website, www.holistichealth-fitness.com. Send me an email, call me on the phone, and we can work together. So until I hear from you, this is Dave Frasilli with Holistic Health and Fitness and Holistic Health Vibrant Life, the podcasts. And I wish for all of you, a vibrant life. Take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.